Hi, this is Brian too. Uh, it's 7.50 in the morning on the 5th of March, 2023 here in Tetra Burn, New Jersey, across the bridge from New York City where I'm getting medical treatment. I want to talk about targeted justice. I constantly get interference with my live feeds. For years, they would, I would set my live feeds to public and they would, they would go to private. And this was, this went on for years. It didn't just start last night. It's been going on for years. Well, I'm just gonna make another video as well. It's a, it's a game, it's hyper game theory. It's a hyper game that you force you to play the hyper game, the never ending game, okay? But I need, this is so important, it needs to be said again. Okay, I'm gonna make a new video and upload it. Um, again, filtering is a tactic used, is a protocol used by super government supercomputers to control all distribution and visibility of content control all distribution and visibility of content using sp special algorithms. Okay, that's how it works. Targeted justice is a control group. In order for their technology to work properly, they have to keep their victims in a controlled environment. You understand? They can't allow their victims to engage in a pattern of they can't allow the targeted individual to engage in a, a pattern of random and chaotic conversations and situations with people who are not plugged into the paradigm, who are not either perps or informants or victims themselves. They have to be plugged in to the paradigm. You can't go around having random and chaotic conversations with people on the street. They have to stop that. Same is true electronically, digitally, online. They have to keep their victims in a controlled environment. And that's what targeted justice is. It's a control group, okay? Uh, PAX International with Derek Robinson, it's a control group. They're using these groups to herd, to gather, to herd targeted individuals together, to keep them in a controlled environment for training, research, and development. That's what's happening. These, they're using what are called pseudo-independent advocates, and I'll get into that more in just a second. These pseudo-independent advocates are they, 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 like Dr. Giordano and, and Dr. Hoffer and uh, you know that, et cetera. They, they, these are not these are not real people. Okay, every lawyer I ever had they corrupted. My lawyer in in Ecuador who, who was responsible for my asylum claim, who I paid five thousand dollars out of my pocket. For. They corrupted him. His name was Diego Corral. He was my asylum claim attorney in, in Ecuador, in Quito, Ecuador. Diego Corral. They corrupted him. They turned him into a pseudo-independent advocate. He was no longer advocating for me. He was control. He was a perp. He was an informant for the government. They, they target victims using foreign governments. Okay, but the point is, that's what targeted justice is. That's what these Pax International is. These are control groups. They were they they were from the very beginning. They 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 infiltrate these groups, and if they can't infiltrate them, they they create them. They create these these control groups so that they can control, infiltrate, manipulate the flow of information to warp real time discourse and activism. That's what they're doing using disinformation which is lies and misinformation which is half truths misdirection which is cyber theater okay against people who try to expose the truth these are control groups a good example would i'll just give you an example okay it's, a good example would be the proud boys these groups like black lives matter um antifa the proud boys the proud boys last year they made they made it made the national headline news. Okay, it turned out this guy apparently he didn't want to play the game anymore. He was the leader, the president of this national organization called the Proud Boys. They were basically a group of white supremacists who who were for the Confederate flag and for white people. Anyway, the the, the government leaked that he was an informant, and he had he had actively sent people to jail to prison in that group in that organization. He had helped to set them up. He had acted 
in conversations and situations with people to get them to do things and they went to jail for it and he was a government informant he was a leader of the proud boys now this made the national news whenever you see anything making the national news over and over that's a major red flag if it was real if it was legitimate it'd be local news or regional news it wouldn't be the national news over and over again whenever you see the government talking points propaganda machine that's what the so-called mainstream media is it's the government talking points propaganda machine running the same story over and over again east palestine trail the east palestine trail uh railroad accident over and over there's there's something there's something bad wrong okay very wrong Erin brockovich a famous activist was on the news the other day she, just, she said something's not right something's wrong they use they use the hidden hand and the open hand that's how they work. They use the hidden hand to control all the, to create all this chaos. And then they use the open hand to offer a solution. That's how they shape public policy. That's a social engineering. That's how it works. 911. Was it real terrorists that were involved? Yes. Did the real terrorists know the CIA was behind it, helping to orchestrate it? No. Why would the CIA be involved in attacking America? To orchestrate, to facilitate, to shape public policy, to for social engineering. We gotta pass all these new laws, Patriot Act and all these laws turning America into a police state to protect us from the terrorists. Now the terrorists are the government, the CIA, the FBI, those are the terrorists, okay? With mind control technologies, it's the same thing. If you if you wanna understand, you know, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, the Proud Boys are just examples. They're controlled from the top down by government informants and perpetrators. Yeah, there are there are real people in those groups who have legitimate complaints and grievances against the government. But from the top down, just like the Proud Boys, they're controlled. Just Google it, the Proud Boys. They're, it made national headlines, national news. They're controlled from the top down by government informants and government perpetrators. How do you stop a revolution? You lead a revolution. You see, that's how it works. They're doing the same thing with these, on a much smaller scale, they're doing the same thing with these targeted individual support groups nationwide. If you go to PAX International, their, their webpage, there's this list of all these targeted individual support groups. No, they're control groups, people. Every one of them. They're control groups. There are real, there are real support groups, but they're not many. And there are real TIs who have real conference calls, but not many. They're control groups. They have to keep you in a controlled environment for their technology to work properly. They can't allow you to engage in a, a, the victims or victims to engage in a pattern of random and chaotic conversations and situations which cannot be verified. If you're, if you're, the, every response of the targeted individual must be verified. Verification is crucial to mind control technologies. And that's what these support groups are for, not just to, you know, Control, infiltrate, manipulate the flow of information using disinformation, which is lies, misinformation, which is, which is half-truths, misdirection, which is cyber theater, indirection, and so forth, misattribution. Okay, it's also for the purposes of training, research, and development to cognitively infiltrate those groups. With target individuals, that's, that's part of the game. Training, research, and develop, development to cognitively infiltrate those groups. So they're not these perps. That's why it's so much chaos in these calls. It's by design. That, that's how the technology works. They have to manufacture chaos. And that's why. That's why in your life every every day, if you're a real TI, you have all this chaos. They're manufacturing chaos to force you to constantly into, into constant counter moves and forced adjustments, trying to function and survive. Each forced adjustment, each counter move is an evoked potential, which can be remotely measured and integrated back into RM data. Your brain is, is remotely tied to a supercomputer. Well, guess what? That's what they're doing with these control groups. It's for, it's for cognitive infiltration, cognitive manipulation, cognitive control cognitive containment that's what they're doing with these control groups they're not just there to disseminate false information to sow dissension to create division chaos okay they're there for training research and development and to discredit anyone who speaks out that it's happening like myself as soon as i get on those calls i'm attacked within 30 seconds within 30 seconds i am attacked that's by design that's how the, ter the, the technology works 
That's training, research, and development. That's verification. There's a verification triggers and verification markers every time I'm attacked. It's, it's by design. It's how the technology works. Now, these perps aren't told all that. They're just told to be what they are, which is scum. Thugs, okay? Never mind they're targeting the human soul of their victims, and God is, is, is going to deal with them eternally, okay? They have no fear of God. They wouldn't do this. And, and they and they can call themselves Christians, but they're not Christian, okay? They're, 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 they're perps, they're informants, they're provocateurs. And they love these synonyms as names. Christian, Kevin Christian, or Richard Lighthouse, or Ella Free. They say they love these, they use these synonyms as names. These are, these are support, these, these, these target individual support groups are not support groups. They're control groups. They have to keep you in a controlled environment. And also it's done to prevent credible online sources from developing people, credible people coming on there with, 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 tr with real information to disrupt that, to disrupt any credible information from credible sources spreading to legitimate victims or the public at large. They have to stop that. So these perpetrators, these informants, are, are they're, 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 if, if they can't infiltrate groups, they create groups. And then when those groups become suspect, they either hand them off to someone else or they go and they create another group. These are control groups. If you go into PAX International, there's a list of, uh, of all these conference calls and support groups. They're all, they're, they're all control groups, almost every one of them. It's just like, it's just like this lawsuit of targeted justice. Targeted justice is a control group. The lawsuit is more cyber theater to force targeted, to capture the attention of targeted individuals, to force them to respond. We, we, this last week we sent a memo and we filed an appeal and we forwarded a memorandum and this, this next week we're going to do this. No, they need you to just keep listening, keep responding, keep paying attention to them. That's how the technology works. If you don't play the game if you don't keep responding the technology doesn't work properly in order for mind control technologies to be effective the victim has to play the game they're sending these informant provocateurs these perpetrators and informant is simply a civilian a perpetrator is you know someone who works for the government local state or federal in whatever capacity whether it's the postman or the police officer it doesn't matter okay whether it's the postman or the police officer it doesn't matter it, what matters is you play the game you keep responding, you stay on that call. So they're sending these perpetrators and these informants into chat rooms, into online social networks, into real space groups to spread all this damage. And this, 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 some of it, some of the information they spread is so fanciful and fantastic in nature it can't be believed and that's how they discredit targeted individuals. Okay, it's called indirection. So, so the lawsuit is just more cyber theater. They, it's a foregone conclusion what's going to happen with the lawsuit. They control the courts. And, ju and, and, the, and these control groups are founded, are created by perpetrators. Lighthouse, Christian, Ella Free. These are synonyms. They love these synonyms as names. These are perps, people. These are perps. These are provocateurs. They're there to kill you. They're there to destroy you, to kill you and your family. They're, they're not there to harass you and make your life difficult. They're there to kill you. And they're going to kill you and your family if you don't get off these calls. You might as well be out in the street talking for hours to the organized stalkers that are sitting on these conference calls, these support groups, these so-called support groups. They're not support groups. They're control groups. PAX International is a control group. Derek Robinson is a, is a perpetrator. Targeted Justice is a control group. Lighthouse and, and Mathis and all these other people that are involved in it, they're perps. Don't, I don't... It doesn't matter that someone shows a picture of their burned face, okay? Listen, they can doctor those. This is the CIA and the Department of Defense, people. They can do whatever they want. They can doctor those those pictures any, any way they want. They can provide medical records to back it up. No, show me a person who's homeless, unemployed, disabled, injured, uh, you know, uh, financially destroyed. You know, then I'll show you a real T.I., People who cannot function and survive normally in society. These are those are perps. Targeted justice is a, is is a control group, and it is it is run and founded and created by perps from the very start. Oh well, so and so had to leave, was forced out, 
and, and a new person came on to, to run the group. That's more cyber theater. That's more cyber theater, okay? Whenever you see anything, let me give you an example of the Proud Boys. It was, it was determined that the, the leader of the Proud Boys, this national organization of white supremacists, it's no small organization, okay? It, it was determined he was a government informant and he had, sent, he had helped to set up and send people in that organization to prison. And, and he didn't want to play the game anymore. He didn't want to be an informant anymore. And so the government leaked that he was an informant. They destroyed him. And he went to prison. He got he got in trouble. But they were they were really active in these in these black riots. These these white supremacists called the Proud Boys made a name for themselves during these riots a year and a half ago, two years ago, whenever it was. Okay, he's he was an informant. Yet he was the president of the national chapter of that organization with, with chapters in, in every state. They're controlled from the top down by informants, by perpetrators. Black Lives Matter, Antifa, Greenpeace, the Sierra Club. There may be real people in those organizations that have legitimate grievances, but and there may be legitimate people, legitimate victims, whatever. But they are controlled from the top down. Those groups are controlled by government informants, just like the Proud Boys. You can Google that, by the way, and see and see how the government just, just destroyed that man. Yet he was their informant all along who had helped to send people within that his own organization that he was president of to prison for a long time. Some of them were totally destroyed. So they weaponized psychology, the so, social sciences, the flow of information, Okay, again, to to prevent credible information from developing, to prevent credible online sources from developing, to disrupt credible information uh, from credible sources like myself. If anybody credible comes on those calls, gets attacked. Okay, um, from spreading to from, from credible sources with credible information, and that credible information spreading to. Uh, legitimate victims of the public at large. That's what that's what they're doing, okay. But it also it's also about con control groups. Now they come on these calls also with with you know the most fanciful and fantastic stories. That's to design. That's by design to discredit victims, okay. They've come on there with UFOs and evil aliens and and, and all sorts of crazy nonsense. That's designed to dis discredit people. If one person gets on those, people operate off the premise of binary thinking, ordinary person. Simplest answer is always the truth. The simplest explanation is always the best explanation. So in order to discredit a person, all one need do, or a group of people, all one need do is engage in a sufficiently complex scheme or game of harassment. And because the more complicated the truth, the less the likelihood of belief by the ordinary person, binary thinking, the the complexity of that harassment will generally be enough to cause most people to turn away in disbelief. It's all cam razor. It's hyper game theory. Okay, it's these are models of deception and manipulation, and that's what they're they're using against people on these on target individuals. On the, listen, it is no joke. They're not there to harass you. They're there to kill you, and they will kill you. They will destroy you. And you're speeding up your destruction. You might as well be out in the street talking to the organized stalkers. For hours and sitting on those calls if you got something you have to say get on the call say it immediately and get off don't sit on those conference calls don't stay on there very long either for a few minutes at most and get off like i do i don't stay i, I hang the phone up if i got something to say i hang the phone up as soon as i say it if i got something else to say i call back and immediately i hang the phone up i don't stay on those calls i don't sit on those calls they're infiltrating these, they're, they're creating these control groups, so they're infiltrating real space groups, real real groups, to, to, to control the flow of information, to warp, manipulate the flow of information and activism and discourse on those, on those calls and in those support groups, okay? Whenever you see anything making the national news over and over again, that's a major red flag, something is wrong. If it was a real, you know, catastrophe, I'm not saying it, was, it, it, it didn't happen. I'm saying that it, it was meant to happen or the government is using it. It happened and the government is using it to their advantage to shape public policy, to create a police state, social engineering. 
it's all everything they do is a game of deception and manipulation every single thing they do is a game of deception and manipulation you do not accept anything they say is truth you do not accept anything the supercomputer interrogates mentally interrogates you about as truth the system the supercomputer is designed to remotely capture random bits of your thoughts your senses your emotions and then to fabricate stories thought triggered attacks mental suggestions injected at speed of light back into your subconscious to deceive and manipulate you. <coughs> Show me targeted individuals that can't get medical treatment or dental treatment. Okay? That those are real TIs. Don't show me somebody with a burned face and say uh and, and an elaborate story and say they're a real person, they're not. Okay? And I'm I don't get on here to to slander people. I get on these calls to save lives. I make these videos to save lives, okay? I made a live feed, and all my live feeds for years have gone to private. Well, I set them to public. That's a game. That's a, that's a hyper game. That's a computer doing that. A supercomputer. And that's what they do. They they, they, they make, they, they create, they infiltrate these real space groups so they can, or they create their own control groups. They turn them into control groups, or they create them. Targeted justice is a control group. The lawsuit is a is more cyber theater. The the attorneys that are behind the lawsuit are pseudo independent advocates. Pseudo independent advocates. Okay. You know they, they they create these these conference calls and these support groups, and then as soon as they're made suspect, they break away and start new groups. That 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 that's an online indicator of deception and manipulation. To break away from a group because you somehow believe that group to have been compromised by the government or whomever, that's, that's one thing. But to break away from that group and to start an, a new group, the same type of group, simultaneously, that that's a major red flag of online deception and manipulation. Those who do it are absolutely perpetrators and informants. Kevin, they, they love these synonyms as names, Lighthouse and Christian and and free, Ella free, and you know when soon as she was, as soon as she was exposed, well, shortly after she was exposed, and all those pseudo independent advocates that came on there, neuroscientists, psychiatrists, psychologists like Matthew Arnegard, they were using those groups to control, to target, to manipulate people, victims. Notice this: Matthew Arnegard was at every so-called. TI conference and group meeting around the nation. Didn't matter where it was, he was there with his speakerphone. Left, right, left, right, left, right. Up to, we want our rights, we want our rights. No, they have to keep you in a controlled environment. They have to be the ones in control. That's why all the moderators are perps. Targeted Massachusetts. Frank is a perp. These are perps, people. They're control groups. That's why all this chaos is allowed to go on on these phones. They just open the mic and they let whoever speak. And you have, a, you know, 50, 100 different people trying to tell a story. And it's chaos. And it's by design. Manufactured chaos is how the technology works. Again, whenever you see, like, the East Palestine Trail Derailment, it, it's tra railroad accident, it, was, it happened. But it was either... But the government is using it as a, as a as a false flag to shape policy, public policy, to socially engineer, to create a police state, just like 911, just like these other false flags. OK, it happened, but the government's in on it. They're behind it. If you ever see the anything, anything making the national news over and over again. That's a major red flag. Something's very wrong. Like Erin Brockovich, this famous activist said, she said the other day at East Palestine, Ohio, something is wrong. Something is not right. She's right. It's government people. They're using these accidents and these so-called terrorists and these white supremacists and et cetera, et cetera. They're using it in these b riots by Black Lives Matter and Antifa to shape public policy, to socially engineer society, to turn America into a police state. We don't live in a dictatorship, but we do live in a police state. That's why I tell victims, I tell targeted individuals, get out of America. Get to a country, a third world country, where they don't have smart city technologies everywhere you go, around every street corner. 
people are only told what they need to know. That's, people are told what they need to know and nothing nothing more. So these informant provocateurs, you know, they're not agents working for the CIA. They're just perps. They're thugs. They're scum of the earth. On these calls, they know people are being murdered. Innocent men, women, even children are being murdered. And they're still on these calls helping to, to, to destroy people. God will deal with them. God will deal with them. It won't be long. The Bible says their, their foot will soon slip. Destruction will soon overtake them like a nightmare that never ends. It won't be long. Okay? So this all this dissension on these calls, all this chaos, all this false information, it's all by design. Targeted justice is a control group. The lawsuit is more cyber theater. The, the attorneys behind the lawsuit are pseudo-independent advocates. Just like G, Dr. Giordano, Dr. Hoffer, and all these other perps. Come on. Get off the calls. Every call on PAX International's website, every, every one of those conference calls is a perps. Those are control groups. Start your own call with people you know and trust. And just because somebody comes on, on online with a picture of their burned face, that doesn't mean anything. They can doctor those. They can. This is this. This is the intelligence agencies. They can do whatever they want. They can create medical records to back all that up. Show me a TI, a person who is disabled, who is financially destroyed, who is homeless, who can't get medical treatment or dental treatment, who can't function and survive, who's isolated, with no friends or family to help them. That's a real TI, people. That's somebody that comes on, on online with a picture of their burned face that can easily be doctored. They love these synonyms, lighthouse. They have last names like Lighthouse and Christian and Free. They love to use these synonyms. These are perps, people, and they're there to kill you and to kill your children, which is exactly what's going to happen if you don't get off those calls. I don't care about the truth. I'm not a truther. I don't care about that. I don't care about America. I don't care about freedom. I don't care about patriotism. I don't care about any of that. I'm a Christian. I love God. I love Christ. I'm there to help Christians. I'm on these calls to help my brothers and sisters in Christ to try to expose what's happening. They're targeting Christians for training, research, and development in artificial intelligence. That's what all this is about. So all these, you know, these these keywords that they use. They use keywords. They love these keywords. Then the synonyms. Okay, like uh, conspiracy theorists and narcissist and power. These are these are their trigger words. Whenever you see narcissist over and over again, empowered conspiracy theorists. That's government people. That's a perp. That's an informant. Okay. That's a that's that's them trying to manipulate people. Whenever you see something making the headline news, national headline news, the government talking points propaganda machine every night, you know, all the time, that's a that's a red flag. That's a major red flag. Something is very wrong, like Aaron Brockovich said with this East Palestine trail derailment. They're using these these accidents that they create to shape public policy, to socially engineer America into a police state. Just like 911. Okay? It's Brian too. It's 8.19 in the morning. March 5th, 2023. Under constant attack.